So here is my uh, first attempt at making a sunshade for the siren. I do have a small bimini, but uh, I wanted something uh, I can fly a little higher uh, so you have more comfort, comfort in the cockpit. Uh, that's useful when you're like uh, at a mooring or at you know, beach or at anchor. Whenever you're not sailing, you can raise the boom and uh, make a nice little uh, shaded space in the boat. Uh, so this is a uh, this turns out pretty well. Um, it doesn't require any uh, any special frame. Uh, what I'm using here, I'm using I'm using the uh, whisker pole. I have an extendable whisker pole, so it goes from like six feet to uh, twelve, and uh, so this is six and a few inches. I can just like stretch the pole, so the so that stretches the the tent, and uh, it's about a 80 inches in the back and uh, 66 inches in the front and in the front it is just attached to the, uh, the shrouds with a snap hook, stainless steel snap hook and uh, I put a little uh, piece of line here so I can stretch it and attach it to, uh, to the shrouds here so it provides good tension and the nice thing is that you get a pretty nice overlap with the cabin. So at night, if you want to sleep with the cabin door open, uh, that should prevent uh, water to come in the cabin. Or if you want to sleep with a mosquito screen and it's raining, that would prevent uh, most of the rain to hit the door. One string in the front and uh, one in the back, so same thing here. I'll, I'll have to ask. To, I'll have to add some uh, tensioners, um, but uh, looks pretty great. It's a lot of space. It should provide some nice, uh, nice shade under the tropics. And here's the detail on the whisker pole. So I'm pretty much running a line from uh, one end to the whisker pole over the boom and back to the other side so i just had to calculate i mean not really calculate but i just have to cut that line so the the whisker pole sits below the boom but not not too far below but just enough so it's stretched and uh, again i'm using uh, stainless steel snap hooks and then this is where the uh, tensioning line attaches and it's going to the uh, cleat aft of the boat and it can be rigged in about uh, five minutes and doesn't take too much space in the boat uh, this is made of uh, 2.1 ounces ripstop nylon should be pretty uh, pretty solid fabric and uh, fits in this little bag